Well, I think in the beginning we weren't quite sure what we needed, and so we are still experimenting with all the different formats. I think that what people have found popular are the, the online offerings for webinars and for workshops where they can do it essentially at their own pace and on their own time. Well, the, the webinars and workshops are some of the big ones. We also do journal clubs every month for papers that are published in the American Journal of Human Genetics and Human Genetics and Genomics Advances. There's also a podcast that the Digital Learning Committee has run for a couple of years. It's called Genetically speaking, covers more of the people involved in the science, the background of how things are going. And we're hoping for the future in 2025 to have a spring online symposium that will be on one specific topic, but we don't have all the details nailed down yet. We have to consider what's happening at the annual meeting and also the content that we've given in the last year or two, because we don't want to keep repeating the same topics. Even something that's relatively popular, people are going to tire out if you have it on too much of the program. It's grown over time. We have a pretty high conversion rate. Usually we can have attendees signing up in the hundreds of things are popular and close to that of people watching. Um, we would have to go back and look and see what people are actually watching it not at time. That's just the people that are actually involved while it's actually going on. But if someone finds an interesting topic, they can go back and rewatch it or recommend it to another member so that they can go watch it even if they missed it the first time. It's hard because science is a constantly moving target, right? So we have to look at what's going on at the annual meeting and the attendance at all these virtual events and see what is the best attended, look at the calendar, what's on the meeting, what's happened in the last few years on the digital calendar, and then figure out are there new emerging areas. So we have to pay attention to popular papers, popular topics here at the meeting that people are going to see, and also what are the best attended digital events because maybe that's a new emerging area that we need to have some more data on before we saturate people too much. I would just say look on the ASHG website for the Learning Center and hopefully it'll help you navigate to resources that you want to find. And if you're not finding what you want, then definitely let us know because we're very interested in offering new digital ways to consume content and also new topic areas all the time.